I mean, like a lot of artists, I started when I was a kid, right? My dad didn't give me a camera like so many photographers say, but I did start with drawing. And that turned into one or two classes in photography. And then it turned into, I shouldn't do any of this because I need to go to college and get a job. Okay. Then I went to college and joined the military and I couldn't get a job. So I became a photographer, which was sort of this thing that was growing in me since 2006. Started taking pictures. And then that was in the military. Then I got out of the military, finished my bachelor's, finished my master's, couldn't get a degree, a job anywhere. But during that time, I was getting better at photography. I was selling some of my work to pay for more camera stuff and to pay for more art shows and then started making money at those art shows. So when it came to almost finishing my bachelor's and I was applying for work and looking for internships or what have you, and no one was picking me up, I started leaning more on the only income that I was getting and really focusing on the business side of all that. And that's what turned me from uh, what I guess we would call a hobby part-time photographer to a, to a full-time artist. And what uh, is it, what is it about photography that, that turns you on or lights the fire? Like why, what's so, what's the magic for you? The challenge. So I, I so I've, there's a, the, the answer starts with what it was at, at first. And then the answer is, what is it now? So at first I was in Hawaii, I'm super competitive. So I'd go to the location, which almost everyone knows about, most some of the places, and there'd be other photographers there. And I would say to myself, how can I take a picture that's different and better than everyone else sitting here lined up? And that's how I started creating a very different feeling in my images um, and some different compositions in what were highly photographed places. And the camera was the easy access thing for me at the time. I actually just started drawing again, um, like a week ago, or more like three days ago. And you really, when you're an artist, in general speaking, you just have a creative idea that you have to put into some sort of visual, physical format. For me, I was in the military, I picked up a camera, and that's just where it started again, instead of someone guiding me through the beginning of doing painting or something like that. But now that I'm where I am now, the camera is not exactly the best tool for the stuff I want to create. So I have to start expanding into other things. And that means going back to drawing and going back to painting, but then applying them to today's world. So that's painting in VR, which is something I really have to start making some time to learn and, and digital art that can also be sold and shown physically. So that's, so the camera in particular doesn't really turn me on. It's just that it's the tool I know 